Hello, uh, Tom from London here, and I'm uh, just recording a quick video to show you a new feature that Sketchfab is looking at introducing. Um, uh, at the moment, it's in in beta, and uh, they've they've sent out a few links to people to to try it out, and it's pretty amazing. It's a new post processing filter um, for the viewer. So if we spin it down here, I'm in the 3D viewer settings, and it's this new one, depth of field, which you'll probably um, recognize from kind of any kind of photography or, or high-end film, which basically uh, simulates uh, depth of field, blur on, on the model. So I'm just gonna, I've got a, a nice uh, 3D model of a bug here. This was made uh, with some images from a, a project called Zoosphere. Um, I'll put a link under the video, but you should check that out because they've, they've got some really nice bug photography. They let me uh, use some of their photos to make this model. Anyway, I'm gonna switch on depth of field, zoom in a bit here, and you can see what, what I'm talking about. So, as soon as I switch it on, you should be able to see, um, depending on what the resolution of the video is you're watching, uh, the background has blurred and some of the foreground has blurred as well. And there are two sliders that you can adjust um, to, to change. So I don't know if you can see around, around the front of the bug here, I can adjust how blurry that is, or maybe the back end is more, more visible. You can see full or none. Uh, and it really gives a, a sense of, of depth and scale to the scene. What's also nice is that you can click anywhere on your model to uh, focus on that. So if I wanted it to focus on the very front of my bug, um, I can do that on the, on the schnoz. Um, turn it round. So you can set this up to um, focus anywhere on your 3D model and, and play with the settings. So it's pretty awesome um, that this is you know running just in my browser and it's pretty quick to um, to calculate, there's a little bit of kind of a grain effect as it as it kind of calculates, but then the the what you're left with is pretty pretty amazing. So I'm just gonna um, quickly cut to a few other uh, models and show you what it looks like there. Okay, so here we are looking at another one of uh, my scans. This was a scan of some uh, shaggy parasol mushrooms in uh, Greenwich Park here in London, and I set this one up um, with some annotations, some view views. Um, to kind of show off the, the depth of field. So let's go and check it out. So you can see here the the background of the ground there has been kind of blurred out. So this is really good for kind of concentrating the viewer, I think, on what they're looking at. Let's go through to the next one. Check out the gills on that mushroom and the annulus uh, as well. Be careful how you say that. Um, and then another nice one as well, this view of uh, uh, one of the, the young mushrooms growing up through the leaf litter. So we're right down in the ground. It's, it's uh, you know, got a really nice blur in the foreground here on the left and then the big mushroom in the background. This uh, third and final model I'm quickly going to look at is um, a model of, uh, a, a, mod a 3D model of a model of um, Cambridge, Cambridge um, historic core, the centre of, of Cambridge. So I don't, this would uh, probably work, depth of field would probably work really well with um, actual kind of aerial... Um, or drone kind of uh, generated 3D models of, of larger scale sp spaces. So hopefully we'll see some of that um, happening on Sketchfab. But I don't have a drone, but I, I do have this um, this model. So again, I've set this one up with some annotations to um, show off the depth of the depth of field as we take a tour around Cambridge. So there's King's College Chapel, um, and again, blurry in the foreground, blurry in the background, um, but it does yeah give an, a bit of a and a nice scale to this this model. Let's jump around a bit and just show you it working. So no, not really any uh, effect on the 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 frame rate or uh, the speed of the player, um, which is pretty pretty impressive, or as far as I can tell, uh, on on my laptop. I'm using Firefox as well, by the way. Um, so I wonder. I think yeah. So even in in the main viewer, you can focus yourself. Um, the user can focus on things as well just by clicking, which is quite quite fun. Um, I mean, people could use this to kind of set up all kinds of um, nice screenshots or product shots um, with their 3D models on Sketchfab. So it'd be super cool to see how how it gets used. Um, so I hope this has been a, an interesting slash useful video, and um, I'm not sure when this is going to be out uh, for everyone to use, but hopefully very soon because it's it's pretty awesome. Okay, until next time. Bye.